when we write down our music, we do it by placing some notes on the staff. This is what a music staff looks like. As you can see, a staff has five lines. And in between the five lines are four spaces. Here's a note we've put on the staff. We've put it right on top of a line. Our note has a line going right through the middle of it. We can say that notes like this are on a line. Here are some examples of some more line notes. You can see that each one of them has a line going right through the middle of it. Here's another note we've placed on the staff. It doesn't have a line going through the middle of it. This note has been put in the space between two lines. We can say that this note is on a space. All of these notes are space notes. They are placed in the space between the lines. Do you think you understand the difference between line notes and space notes? Let's play a quick game of line or space. Is this note on a line or on a space? This note is between two lines. We can say that this note is on a space. Here's another one. Is it on a line or on a space? Now this one does have a line going right through the middle of it. It is on a line. How about this one? Would you say on a line or on a space? This note is also on a line. One more for you to try. Line or space? There's no line going right through the middle of this note. It is on a space. Sometimes when we are putting notes on the staff, we might want to keep adding notes even higher than the top line or lower than the lowest line. In this case, we've gone up, up to the space above the very top line. If we want to keep going higher, we're going to need to add another line. We call this short little line a ledger line. And we only add them when we want to place notes above or below the staff. Out of this group of six notes, we could say that these three notes are on a line. And these three notes are all on spaces. Let's try our game of line or space again. What would you say for this note? On a line or on a space? Well, this note is sitting above a ledger line, but the ledger line doesn't go through the middle of the note. This note is on a space. Here's one more. Would you answer line or space? This note does have a line going through its middle, a ledger line. This note is on a line. Now that you know a little bit about the staff and the music alphabet, you're ready to begin learning about different letter notes on the staff. You can choose to go on and watch either the treble clef or bass clef lessons, depending upon what instrument you are learning. If you're studying piano, you will need to learn both treble and bass clefs. Looking for a fun way to practice learning your music notes? 
Flashnote Derby is an app for your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch that can help. Simply select the notes that you wish to work on memorizing, and it's off to the races. Answering correctly pushes your horse forward to the finish line, while wrong answers send you backwards. Afterwards, you can review the notes that you missed and try again. Memorizing notes is boring, but horse races are exciting. Start enjoying your music studies more and get Flashnote Derby today. Available from the App Store or visit LearnMyNotes.com for more information.